Hi guys, Todd here. Right. Um, well, the first one has arrived. A few weeks ago, um, I started, well, I went on to Polish Forum and uh, I started, <laughs> started playing some of the, the mod makers and uh, basically just looking around their forum and seeing what was available and the amount of mods and rebuildable atomizers that I'd never heard of nor seen before was incredible and uh, the first one that uh, I managed to get arrived today and here it is uh, this is a 20 millimeter rebuildable atomizer in stainless steel and it is the GKMF Genesis Atomizers, GKMF. Um, now, the reason it's called that is because the creators are, and here we go, my pronunciation will be really bad. Is it Keruj, Keruj, and Mr. Frost. So that's where you get the GKMF from. Um, this is the version 2 that I have here with me just now. Um, and just to give you a quick rundown of the spec and then we'll go into close-ups and things like that. Um, it's stainless steel, all stainless steel. The air hole is between 1.2 and 1.5 mil. You can choose which one you want. Uh, brass pin in the middle. Uh, nuts and screws are stainless steel. It's a Pyrex tank, capacity of 3 millimeter. Uh, the wick hole is 3.4 or 3 to 4 millimeter. Tank holes M3, approximately 3 mil, and the diameter is 20.4 millimeters. Uh, and all holes in the deck are threaded apart from the main hole. Um, now, when you get in and have a closer look here, and I show you the deck. There is not much that you will, configuration-wise, you will be able to do single wick, dual wick, triple wick, uh, dual coil, uh, dual coil, U wick, double U wick. I mean, you can do anything you want with this. It is really impressive. And this is all uh, built by the guys themselves uh, and. It's not mass produced, it's done via a list. There is now a list on vaporwall.com and the price that I'm looking at here, just to confirm, because I want to get this right, um, 80 euros for the atomizer, 80 euros, 7 euros for the additional Pyrex tank, but 80 euros, that includes shipping, but does not include PayPal fees. You'll have to put PayPal fees on top of that. Um, so that's pretty much all the spec. You do get a white, um, oh, where's it going? You get a white Teflon drip tip with it. I think I kind of get spoiled a wee bit, and it included a handmade, uh, you know, hand turned uh, stainless steel drip tip on it. So, and this is video is cutting out, I think. I'll wait and see. Right, I'm going to go in for the close-ups. Right, here we go. This is everything that uh, came uh, to me. And, well, apart from the Cyan Mods base that it's sitting on just now, uh, it came with a couple of little torque wrenches here, um, a few grub screws, a couple of O-rings, and other little bits and bobs there as well. So there's some spares there to get you going. Uh, we'll take all this out of the picture just now and we'll concentrate on these guys. Uh, right, let's have a look at the top cap first. So you can see the, the grooves, three grooves cutting the top there. 
not sharp or anything like that nicely cut the finish the machine is really nice and you can see the thickness there of the, the metal um, in fact what we'll do is I'll pause this a second and the reason I've paused it is that since I bought these I might as well start using them and the thickness of the metal is 2.21 millimeters so that's how thick you are there uh, top cap itself is about 24.5 mil and the diameter is 20.5 mil uh, so it's a wee bit rough around the top there but you know these are all hand turned uh, but overall no I'm quite impressed I find I'm quite surprised by this the the air hole um, that's unusual uh, you know that it's so narrow there I, I don't think I've seen that before on another atomizer um, but no quite impressed one thing I did notice was that the top cap is when you get this you do need to lube or put some uh, e-liquid on the o-rings because this is held on tightly uh, that top cap is going nowhere and I mean nowhere uh, it's very tight oh, there we go we're off so that's the top cap uh, take this off the base I like the blue o-rings it's quite a nice touch um, right so there's your deck and there's your main air hole there which is not threaded uh, your air hole there not your air hole sorry your wick hole but as you'll see dotted around the place and we'll get back to a right close look you can see that uh, there's grub screws in there and another main one here which is for probably your fill hole that you can unscrew so oh, actually I'll take that out just now put that to the side and you know you can uh, undo these any number of them and as I said at the beginning you can run this in just about any configuration you like it is quite impressive uh, and I've just noticed something that <laughs> the two right uh, torques that he gave me uh, they don't fit the you know for your, your negative connection uh, they don't actually fit so you'll you'll need your own one for that uh, anyway uh, that's something I'll get back to um, you can see the center post here you know you've got your stainless steel nuts here on a, a brass pin um, which goes through the tank and we'll might as well just take this to bits and let you have a good look at it and we'll have to undo the one at the bottom no doubt and that should then like so it's got a nice wee sleeve on it there so we wash it at the bottom as well and that's like a wee bell run spacer quite nicely set up I see that the threads pop this back in And we'll screw this back on. Uh, 
And of course, with uh, the tank being the way it is, you'll be able to remove the tank. There you go, I can start sliding it there. You can remove the tank and leave the wicking coil and everything in place. So there we go. Now, uh, the people that are likely to buy these, they will know how to wick and coil and uh, so on. So for this video, I'm not going to be doing a rebuild. Uh, as such, I will go off and I will set up my... Oh, wrong thing. I'll go and set up my own wicking coil and uh, I'll come back and we'll have a look and see how it vapes. So I would just pop this in here, uh, setting up a new wick and I've cut on the diagonal on a piece of 400 mesh, stainless steel mesh and uh, that is 65mm in length and 20mm in diameter and it's not wrapped too tight and it's still giving me, you know, plenty of room in the holes there so that's the kind of work that I'm going for okay here we go there's uh, a new wick <laughs> Of kind of a sort. Um, I need a hot spot at the top there. I'll have to poke that out, but I'll sort that. Uh, and this is a 1.23 ohm coil. So let's go and put some juice in it and see how it vapes. Sorry, just tidying stuff away. Uh, right, that's it there. I have got a kind of little hot spot on the top, uh, which I'll get away. I've put the fill screw back in because uh, the wick holes are quite large and my wick is quite a bit smaller, so it's going to wick fine, I believe. Uh, but that's. <laughs> It's, it's pumping the vapour out, something rotten, which is great. Uh, but now for the important stuff. Let's get this air hole lined up. Uh, I don't know what size of air hole I actually got in this one. That's, uh, I should really check. Uh, I think I got the 1.2. Yeah, I got the 1.2. So we'll see how that goes. God, that's a tight bugger that. Um, pop my one drip tip in it. All drip, I've, tr I've tried most of my drip tips and they're all kind of work fine. Um, there it is on a, a roller. That's not good. I can see this. Uh, center pin. It's sticking right up into the, the cap. did was I got just a Dremel with a sharpening stone on it and I, I could have used a hacksaw and I took about a mil and a half, two mil of the, the centre pin, uh, centre post and put my top cap back on which is tight mugger and here we go again Actually, ah, it's one of those things, I suppose. Uh, not ideal, uh, granted, but uh, you know, 
if you're used to mucking about with rebuild atomizers, then shaving a couple of mil off that pop center point center post isn't much of a hassle to anybody. That's uh, well, a 50-50 uh, Grant's Vanilla Custard, um, and it tastes lovely. It's quite a small chamber in it, uh, when you take into account the thickness of the material and uh, you know how far it sits down in those O-rings, uh, that's quite a small chamber and it's got quite a good hit. That's thanks. It actually reminds me of uh, configuration-wise. It reminds me of the the UKVA, the one that Jim built, the small. Uh, oh God, what was it? A uh, 16 mil diameter. Can't remember now. Uh, and it had multiple configuration. It was very similar in the deck to that. Uh, very similar. Um, the vape is. The vape is great. Um, I, I, I can't fault the vape at all. Uh, great flavour. Um, really good flavour. It's not uh, intense hot 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 type thing it's not burning hot I mean but that's quite a uh, 1.2 1.3 ohm so it, it's kind of what I would expect from any Genesis atomizer and um, it, it's very good uh, the so what do I think of the GKMF 20 mil I have to say that Configuration wise, excellent. Uh, the build of it, the thickness of the material, thickness of the stainless steel, uh, excellent as well. I quite, that drip tip, you know, the wee narrow hole there, that's quite smart. That I wonder if that's aiding with the. I mean, the 1.2, it's not. It's not a really, really tight draw. It's not. It's quite passable. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I'd be quite happy with that. Yeah. That is good. I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. Um, the downsides to it. I do think that that 510 connector is a bit in the long side. Uh, yeah, it's just a fraction too long, um, which means that you know it, it's almost. Like four and a half mil, that's roughly guessing. Um, whereas you take something like, say, the Bliss, uh, and it's closer to like four mil, so that half a mil extra in length. I mean, this is the, the dingo that's it screwed down as far as it'll go, and uh. You know, I can normally get anything to sit flush in the dingo. And there's... Just a fraction of air there. So, hopefully the Mr. Frost uh, will see this, the guys will see this, and uh, I'll probably end up doing it myself, but I, I would shave just half a mil off of the bottom of the 510 connector and you also shave a bit off that top post as well uh, you know uh, 
so that it's not blocking off the airflow like it did in mine. A couple of niggles, a couple of things easily fixed, and uh, maybe it's just my one uh, that came like this, uh, or and maybe I was just unlucky. Uh, I, I don't know. But aside from those two things, for the money, It's a belly bargain. It's just stunning for the money. It really is. Uh, I'm very impressed. Um, I mean, let's. I mean, my. Uh, I'm just going to xe.com uh, just to check. Um, Right, uh, just today's con conversion rates, I'd say with buying this with PayPal fees, you're probably looking at £75. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Uh, I really like this. Uh, the blue O-rings, <laughs> that's, that's a matter of taste. You can change out O-rings if you don't like the blue, change them to black or red or whatever you want. Um, um, no, the machining is really nice, uh, the machining of the top cap and the build on it, spot on. I'd recommend it, I, I would hold that for the money, great buy, uh, it really is a great buy. Uh, design wise it's pretty about as run in the mill as you can get, configuration wise it's 10 out of 10. And there was a couple of little issues that I mentioned do detract from it, but uh, I'll feed that back and hopefully they'll they'll sort that out. And if you're handy with a bit of sandpaper, then you can sort it out yourself in 10 minutes flat. Uh, but that's me for the this. Uh, what height is it? About 51, 51 mil in height, not including the 510 connector and the drip tip. Uh, so one last wee vape. Brilliant. Really impressed. The guys did a good job with that one. Uh, I did receive this free for the purposes of this review. And... Uh, that doesn't make any difference to me. I would still talk about it the same as if I'd purchased it myself. Um, but, no, give it a bash. If you can get on the list for this, go to vaporwall.com, get on the list. He does a batch every two weeks. Uh, I think there's a pile of names on there already. The list has gone up and it's taken off quite well. It's proven to be very popular. And I can see why. And uh, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, mate. Bye.